Okay, functions of the skeletal system. This is 3.1. Our skeletal system, it protects our internal organs. So as you can see in this picture, we get smacked. And our bones protect us. And the organs can say, thank goodness the bones are protecting me. Yay. Because otherwise, this little organ would be squished. And it get destroyed. And you go, choo. Anyways, so it's also a framework for the body to be built upon. Just like a house has a structure that we put the walls on, right? And then we put the furniture in and we get to live in there eventually. Our body's the same way. We build the framework and then we on that we stick the muscles, which could be like the walls. And then we stick the blood, which could be like electricity and the skin, which is the paint. Um, either way, we need that framework so we have to we can build our body. Otherwise, it's, our house is just going to fall down and get destroyed. It helps us do movement with muscles. Our muscles move bones. So you can jump and run around because your muscles attach to bones. When you lift your arm, it's because muscles are pulling on your bones. Without that, your muscles will just be a big floppy tissue which we'll talk about. It produces blood cells in the bone marrow. It produces blood cells, red and white and other things that we need for blood are produced by bones inside of them. And it's a storage for minerals. So the minerals we need in our body, um, calcium and phosphate and other things like magnesium, um, we use them to build bones, right? But we also need them in other parts of our body. So like calcium, we use that to move our muscles. So we are gonna use calcium inside of our muscles so that we can jump around. It helps our muscles move. We'll talk about that later. But we store minerals in the bones and then later when we need them for muscles, we can take them out of bones and put give them to our muscles. Those are the five functions. Protection of internal organs, a framework for the body to be built upon to give us shape that helps us move with the muscles. It produces blood cells and it stores minerals. What, how does the structure, how does their structure help their function? How does the structure of bones, sorry to be more specific, help their function? What would happen if I, to think about this, just think about what would happen if our bones were not made the way they were. What would happen if our bones were soft? Well, it would be like being made of jelly. We would be floppy. So in terms of the framework, right? If we had a house made of jello, the house would fall down. Same thing with us. We're going to be floppy and we're going to fall all over the place if we have soft bones. So because bones are hard, that helps them provide a strong framework. Um, we could be squished like a bug. If we were not made of hard bones, then this little punch would collapse, would squish the head and destroy it, right? We need the bones so that when we get punched or we get hit or we run into things, our body doesn't collapse. And we would have to move like a blob. With soft um, bones, our, mus our arms and body would be all floppy, and we'd have to move like a, like a slug or something, right? Think of a slug doesn't have bones all over it. It has to like ooze along. We'd have to do the same thing. Ooze. Oozing. So, the, so what would happen if our bones were soft? We'd have to do all these things. Um, all these things would happen to us. So, being hard and strong lets bones provide a strong shape for our body. Let's, um, helps them provide good protection for our organs and um, gives us um, a strong structure to move with. If this um, last one, thinking about moving, think about a cane. If you use a cane to walk to help you move, um, what would happen if you had a cane that was made of um, squishy material, right? You couldn't use that cane to help you. It would squish every time you tried to walk with it. So you need to have a strong structure so that we can move that structure. So what would happen if our bones weren't made of minerals? Well, we wouldn't have a place to store minerals, so we would have to eat them all the time. 
So, being made of minerals helps bones be a place to store minerals. It's that simple. Because bones are made of minerals, we can store minerals there. What would happen if our bones didn't have blood in them? Because if you think about it, the blood cells made by a bone have to get into the blood. Um, because our, our bones have blood inside of them, if we didn't have blood, they wouldn't. the blood cells wouldn't be able to get into the blood. Um, and all the ones that are made can do their job. So, being filled with blood vessels inside bones um, lets bl bones, helps bones, bones um, be a good place to make more blood cells. It's pretty straightforward. It does not need to be that complicated. The end. You should also watch the other videos to help you understand this.